So there's the main gate to the um, community. And then the property line starts right around where the um, those palm trees are, the smaller ones. And there's two driveways to this property. There's front door, main entrance, and the property line is about the length of a football field is what I'm told, all the way to that car, the white car. So I'm gonna walk you guys in and the agent um, has been kind enough to offer to walk us through the property and share some details. So here we go. It's very peaceful. I had an opportunity to preview it before this video. So how pretty that is. single story a lot of uh, just quality finishes here's your three car garage and then over on that side I believe they had intentions of adding another garage and like an in-law suite here we go beautiful stonework Rod iron entry gate. Let's see if this helps. Okay. Hello. Hi. Come on in. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I'm going to take you on the tour from here, okay? So, <laughs> welcome. Um, if you can, just look out and see the beautiful pool. It's a great way to enter a home. There we go. It's so pretty. So that's the living room. There's a ton of LED lighting, recessed lights um, to highlight your artwork if you have any. There we go. You kind of missed this room, the foyer. It's beautiful round room. That's an alabaster chandelier above the medallion. This is travertine, polished travertine. The layout of this home, on one wing you have secondary bedrooms, um, then in the far corner you have the master, and then the kitchen and family rooms are on the other, other side. Master, and we've got, hello. <laughs> The dining area. And I'm getting ahead of myself, but we can sneak peek. this way if you okay. want. Sure. Yeah. So if you come in here, of course, the dining room, it feels like it's in the round, although it's a square room. Um, oh, it does, doesn't it? Yeah. <laughs> but it's got alabaster chandelier. It's got a beautiful molding that's backlit. Uh, so there's great light in here. There. This was originally uh, the fourth bedroom, and it, they've converted it to an office, wine room, uh, just a wonderful place to be. It's got great light flooding in from the courtyard. This is a built-in Sub-Zero wine refrigerator. Uh, it's dual zoned for your reds and your whites. <laughs> it would definitely be my office. Mine as well. <laughs> I'd be reaching out to my wine while I'm greeting the... <laughs> Come on in. Oh, this is also backlit. I guess I don't have the lights on right now, but um, it's backlit as well. Beautiful. This bathroom was originally a, a full bath, and they converted it to a half bath to be used by their guests. So they built that beautiful cabinet there. If you wanted to, you could restore it to a full bath. All of the fixtures are in the wall. These are 10 foot ceilings. In here so you really feel spacious on your left is a, a beautiful walk-in pantry look at that taking full advantage of the 10 foot ceiling absolutely yeah there we go 
Behind you is the laundry room. Lots of storage, a window looking out to the citrus grove, and a sink. Nice and light and bright. Perfect. Come on into the kitchen. One of my favorite rooms. Beautiful granite. You have a wool stove top. Uh, you have I leaded heard. glass lighted cabinets. Mm -hmm. Of course, these are all custom cabinets. Let's see if that helps. No. Oh, there we go. It's a great bar here for yeah, breakfast. It's such a large uh, slab of stone. It's a huge slab. And you'll notice too, um, speaking of slabs, there are no electrical outlets along the oh. walls here. So they're all underneath the cabinets. So there are no big white boxes breaking up your, your beautiful cabinet. I had not noticed that. Yeah. Yeah. That's it's right. a nice feature. It is. Yeah. And then behind you, you've got the double melee ovens, which are, <laughs> I I think you just press a button and it'll cook you Christmas dinner or something. <laughs> They're so sophisticated. That's going on my Christmas list. <laughs> right? You've got... Uh, a wolf uh, microwave, and you've mm -hmm. got a warmer down here as well. Just help you with your entertaining. Perfect. Um, and you've got the Sub Zero fridge. All the drawers, of course, are soft clothes. I'm going to sneak behind you. Sure. I like this. This to me is thoughtful, right? Oh, yes. Just you always have to take a couple of steps to look for the one you can't find. <laughs> yeah, right. And so, of course, pot drawers and, and just a little like, tea or whatever up here. There's a place for everything. Well it's designed. Soft clothes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well designed. Um, that's the family room. Plantation shutters throughout this house. Lots of built-ins. Lots of um, art pipes. LED art lights throughout. There is a Sonos surround sound system that um, goes throughout these two rooms and outside as well. And throughout most of the house, you can take in, you know, the view of the pool area. We'll go out there but in just a sec. You'll notice that the stone fireplace complements the stone hood over the range of the stove top. Just another fine detail. It's all in the details. It is all in the details. <laughs> so all these little nooks for art are of course lit with LED lighting and there's quite a few of them here in the home. And if you want to walk through to yeah, the, this oh, closet. Um, yeah, this is a huge closet, like a secondary pantry. Oh fabulous. Um, so again, plenty a ton of, storage. of storage. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, we haven't even begun the storage <laughs> thing. On your left, of course, this is the living room again. And it's really spacious. Nice and bright. Really bright. A lot of people have talked about putting in those Star La Cantina lights. doors. Yes, going that out. would be perfect. Yeah. If you're looking for a project. <laughs> um, do you want to see the secondary bedrooms? Uh, yes, let's take a, okay. take a look. So if you go uh, on your left, that's a closet. Again, I'll take a quick Huge. peek. Plenty of storage space again. Yeah. And, down this and then on your right is more storage, just in case you needed that. <laughs> <laughs> on your left is a bedroom, 10 foot ceiling, walk in closet. Crown molding. Crown molding in the secondary bedrooms as well. That's yeah. very nice. So the two bedrooms are connected by a bath with dual sink. And then let me just show you the walk-in closet. It's a really good sized secondary walk-in as well. Still soft clothes in the bathroom. I mean, it's just dialed in. Uh, nice, nice cabinetry. Showers have been upgraded as well. Yeah, even crown molding in there. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Yeah. Just nice detail. This 
Um, second secondary bedroom. So this is like bedroom number three, and this is being used as a home office right now. I if you we'll come this way, well. you'll see it's got a great window out to the front yard, which I think is fantastic. It really is. I was yeah. trying to um, yeah, get, get that so that yeah. I can... There you go. That's your view. Beautiful. Right? Not a bad place to call, you know, your home office. There's the dual office. Hi, Woon. I would take the one with the wine <laughs> fridge, <you> though. <laughs> All right. Okay, now we'll wind our way back around to the master, which is in there. So, so polished harbor team masters? floors. I don't know if I mentioned that. Hardwood floor. A really nice private patio off the master with uh, French doors that go out beyond the plantation shutters. Here we'll, we'll go out there in a sec. Save the best for last. <laughs> there we go. Master bath. Master bath has a sunken Jetted tub, spacious shower, and a huge walk-in closet. That's our head. Beautiful. It also has my favorite part, the towel warmer drawer. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. So double sinks, a lot of uh, custom storage. And then the closet water closet and then would you happen to know how big this closet is ginormous it is ginormous it looks like a new construction of a secondary bedroom yeah doesn't it okay here well there's also a closet on your right as well linen closet there you go Let's do it. So pretty much covered everything on the inside. So you know the home has a four-car garage too. We didn't go through there. There's quite a bit of stuff in there. Garages are always forgiving though. <laughs> this is really what you want to see. So this Look is the courtyard this. off the master. You guys ready for this? Look at that view. This is gorgeous. It's like a resort. It really does have that feel. Yeah. Um. All right, guys. So, there's a lot of lawn here. It's really lush and green. Um, beyond the furniture over there, there's a whole other lawn area. And of course, there's this long side. Walk you guys over in a bit. Pretty, right? It's gorgeous. It really is. It's very peaceful. Floor, uh, pavers, or stones. So all of this lights so up at good. night. Those two bowls are fire bowls. These are um, planters on both sides, and you'll see that they're oh, okay. irrigated. That's what I thought. Yeah, okay. we don't have any plants in there. I don't know why, but we don't. <laughs> uh, here's the Probably wouldn't here's survive here. this heat that we're having right now. No, but these are. So, All right. yeah, maybe we just didn't get that far yet. There you go. All of the furniture is available as well. If they're interested in if you're purchasing interested. Yeah. it. It's really spectacular furniture, too. It's heavy duty, very high end. Yeah. Um, Tons of lighting. Beautiful for entertaining. And then yeah. there's a pond back here. So yeah, follow the path. There's a ton of up lighting here. Look at this. Got a water feature, a little waterfall over here. Look at dragonflies. Can you guys see them? You got the dragonflies. 
They made the shot. There they are. Isn't that beautiful? Okay, beautiful pond. Back here you have a sitting area with a fire ring. Outdoor dining. Outdoor kitchen, which I will walk you through in a second. And then back here, we have a seating area. Look at all this space. Trying to get that, the dragonflies. <laughs> there are three of them just perched. Here. Oh, oh, yeah. There they go. <laughs> One stayed, but yeah. You see them? So cool. So this is a great um, fire pit. Really nice place to gather. Tons of all, all, would all of this furniture be negotiable also? Yes. Okay. All of this furniture is available. What I like about there's so much patio space out here. You can really entertain. And this furniture is quite person. large. Um, but the yard is so big that you can't even... It's hard to kind of get the perspective of, of how big everything is. Yeah, well, if you're going back here and just like, here we go. <laughs> You've got eight seated around that table behind you. So that covered dining space. Oh, pretty. It's a great place to gather. So this is a commercial grade kitchen. You've got the Sedona links and the U-line refrigerator. You've even got a um, garbage disposal, a ton of storage. And I think I shared with you before, but to be here grilling and looking that way toward your guests in the pool or isn't that pretty, guys? Coming out around the fire pit. And with this weather, I mean, it's just, you can pretty much do it all year long. I love the lawn here, the trees. It feels very New England to me, very East Coast. There's a rose garden. It's, I don't know if you want to go yeah. down that path, but it's a really nice rose garden. Contact here. Have a seat, soak it all in. And this is the view. So Jeannie was mentioning that the sellers are original owners um, and they'll be moving to, how beautiful these roses are. They'll be moving to Idaho. They're retiring. That's the front. Here's that other seating area with a gas firing. See if that helps. Look at the woodwork. Jenny, do you mind if I take them over to the garden oh, area? Go right ahead. Okay. Yeah. And then I'll show you guys where the property line in the back is as well. Since I know you have a pup. There we go. Oh, beautiful. So on this little slope back here, you can see the solar for the pool. And it's a saltwater pool. And then I don't know if I can get it on the video, but there's a chain link fence 
And that's pretty much where your property line ends. It's behind uh, all this greenery. But quite a bit of distance between you and your neighbors for privacy. There's Jeannie working away. <laughs> and uh, so this area here, let, let me walk over is where the the sellers were planning on adding another garage and I believe they were going to do the in-law suite um, and they have permits for all of that if that's something of interest that's where that second driveway opens up right now they just have it uh, open for gardening and a tech shed back there Some raised, uh, it looks like strawberries, raised garden bed planter. Oh, it is all strawberries. Tomatoes over on this side. Peppers back there. No, Roma tomatoes. Beautiful grounds, guys. Anyway. I'll go ahead and upload this and get it to you as soon as possible. All right. Thank you, guys.